Aftershock, the man Roger Ruffin. The man is back Ruffin. on Aftershock, Wellington. That's right, the man Roger Ruffin and Josh Wellington here. And right here tonight at Bone Crushers, we awarded our 2010 year-end awards. Man, it was great to be here for the 2010 awards. The only bad thing is, believe it or not, somehow I didn't win anything. That's right, you, you didn't walk away with a winner, but we did have a winner for Feud of the Year. Stan Flickage and Chiron winning the Feud of the Year. Man, it's a great right. choice, because those two were at each other all year long. That was a great choice. That's right, we also had the Referee of the Year award given to Big Mama. Big Mama wins Referee of the Year. Man, just edged out Paco. And Manager of the Year tonight, right here in the ring. Absolutely. Cindy. 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 And we'll get back to her in just a minute, yeah. Wellington. And we also had Tag Team of the Year. Heavyweight champ or tag team champions, I'm sorry, Danny Todd and Matt Stevens. You know, they're certainly not my favorite tag team, but they've been the champs for a while, so I guess the award goes to the best tag team. That's right, and the most hated is the heavyweight champion, so we back on kind of jumped the gun a little bit there. Heavyweight champions, so we back on the most well, hated. Well, you know why he's voted the most hated is because these fans, they hate successful wrestlers, and Stewie Backlund is the most successful in the NWF. Well, speaking of most successful, let's go to most popular. Most popular right here tonight going to Sean the Virus Hard Drive. It just goes to show you, Wellington, that the fans of the NWF, they like some weird and strange things, and that's certainly what Virus is. Speaking of weird and strange, the wrestler of the year tonight, Samson. Man, Samson, who would have believed it? He's come back to the NWF, had a great match uh, at Fan Fest this year when he won the unified title from Muldoon, and he's been on a roll, so they voted him in. Wrestler of the Year. That's right. Not only did we have the awards here tonight, we also had a huge show. Oh, it was great. It was great. And right here tonight, we saw, once again, the Warlock and the Enforcer, Dustin Lillard. I don't know what's been going you on know, with You know, it doesn't make no difference if they're wrestling one another, Wellington, or if they're not. They always get involved in each other's business. And that Warlock, everybody's seen it every night. He's been loading that mask. I don't know if he's putting a metal plate up in there, a chain up in there, or what. But every time he's been knocking Dustin Lillard out cold. He's been putting some kind of foreign object in his mask, and it's so far it's worked to his advantage. But also right here tonight we saw Sir Daniel Monningham, but apparently now he's Danny Monty Montgomery again. Evidently he's back to Danny Monty Montgomery, you know. Uh, he said tonight he was uh, trying to make amends for the yes last year and a half for following Austin Medler around. I guess he's seen the light. And the fan sure took to him tonight here at Bone Crushers. That's right, he turned his back on his old ways. And speaking of turning their backs, Cindy out here earlier, trying to ask her if she knew what was going on with who had the crush on me. And uh, she's playing a little hard to get. Wellington, you got it from her mouth. There's no more denying it, Wellington. I think this whole thing is a farce. You asked Cindy right here in front of everybody at Bone Crushers, did she know that somebody had a crush on you and she looked at you like you had 12 heads, Wellington? It ain't Cindy, Wellington. It ain't Cindy, and I really don't know if it's anybody. Well, the only thing I have to say to that is women lie. And uh, speaking of that, right now, I actually have a truth. Because I was informed that coming up in Fairfield... I know all about it. Tell the people about the big Fairfield show. Coming up, Valentine Vengeance, February the 12th. Fairfield, the tag team title is on the line. Danny Todd and Matt Stevens are going to defend against KY Jordan and the Juno superstar Anthony Bryan. Team perfection. But the CEO, Chad Allegra, has informed me that at ringside, for that match, Kirk Shepard is going to be handcuffed to an NWF superstar during the match. That's right. Last time in Fairfield, Shepard got involved in a match a couple different times. And Allegra thinks to keep him out, he's going to handcuff him to one of the superstars of the NWF. Wellington? You know that I'm good friends with Kirk Shepard, and you know I still got a lot of pull around here. Well, I got it signed, sealed, and delivered. I know who Kirk Shepard's going to be handcuffed to, and it just might be in his favor. Let's go to these words from Kirk Shepard. <laughs> you know, Chad Allegra, you think you're real smart. You think you're going to keep me from interfering in a match between the perfection and Matt Stevens and Danny Todd. Well, you're not the only guy with connections around here. I talked to the man, and yeah, I'm going to be handcuffed. But I'm going to be handcuffed to Chiron. And Chiron hates the rookies. Hates them! <laughs> you guys, ah, we're taking those tag belts in Fairfield, and there's nothing that Chad Allegra, a pair of handcuffs, 
or you can do about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWF After Shop. The man, Roger Ruffin, and Josh Wellington here once again. And coming up this Saturday, the 29th, we make our return to the Harrison Health and Fitness Center in West Harrison, Indiana. And you're going to see a huge tag team match. Club Platinum is going to be taking on Jesse and Jeremy Hyde. I'll tell you what, Wellington, they really went at it tonight. They tore each other up. And coming this Saturday at Harrison, we're going to see the four of them get together a tag team match, man. I saw Jesse Hyde and Jeremy Hyde today. Man, and they are focused. They're focused like I've never seen it before. That's right. And the, these four men were in here tonight in singles competition. They were all, all four of them were getting involved crazy. in each other's They're matches. Crazy. There was craziness here tonight at Bone Crusher, but let's take a look at the footage. And I believe we also have some words from Jesse and Jeremy Hyde. Hero just left the broadcast table. I don't know what, what's he doing out there? Oh! He's got NG set up. Look out, here comes Cheat Money. Hero running for higher ground, getting out of there. Jesse High trying to hit him with that cane. NG ducked onto it. NG hit him instead. NG going for the cover there. This Saturday night, the 29th, baby! The Brothers Hyde, the bloodline, the royalty of the NWF, the modern day superheroes, Jesse Hyde, Jeremy Hyde, your hero! <laughs> Club Platinum, T Money, NG, when we show up in Harrison, we're gonna prove to you what me and Jesse are going straight to the top here in the NWF. Because we leave tomorrow, and what do we start, Jesse? What do we start? Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Chill. Calm down. I'm trying my best, man. Calm down. I'm trying. It'll be all right. We'll get through this, all right? NG, money, next week, not only do you get to experience the new Hyde Brothers. Jeremy and myself, we get to experience the new Hyde Brothers. This week, Jeremy and myself, we're going to a retreat seminar. And not only are we gonna become better wrestlers, we're gonna become better human beings. You got that right, Jesse. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NWF Aftershock. Roger Ruffin and Josh Wellington here. And if you need to contact the NWF in any way, you can go through our Facebook page. You can also check out our website, nwfwrestling.com. Yes. And you can call our hotline at 513-588-4NWF. Do it one more time. I'd like them to get a little more pizzazz. The hotline, 513-588-4NWF. Tonight, tonight, tonight. That's right, all that's available on our hotline, our website, and on our 513-588-4NWF. And NWFWrestling.com. Man, Wellington, you're going to have plenty of time to go on the hotline. You're going to have plenty of time to go on a Facebook because tonight you got dumped. Even though you didn't even were involved in a relationship, even though you've already been alone for a long time, you got dumped. I don't, I don't know who it's going to be. It isn't anybody, Wellington. It's nobody. Maybe it's Amanda. Amanda? Wellington. Oh, not again. Wellington! 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 Coming up this Saturday night, the 29th, at the Harrison Health and Fitness Center. The tag team titles are on the line. Uh, tag team titles. Uh, Matt Stevens and Danny Todd 
be taking on uh, KY Jordan and uh, and the junior superstar Anthony Bryant. Man, these guys have been battling out, and this Saturday at Harrison, the titles could change hands. And also another tag team match, uh, Stewie Backlund is going to team with Chiron, and they're and they're taking on uh, they're they're taking on. Um, Gather your thoughts, Wellington. It's Chiron and Stewie Backlund going up against Stamp Lickage and Jay Donaldson. We've seen Stewie Backlund and Chiron team up tonight here at Bone Crushers, and they destroyed their opponents. And I think that just might, might be what happens in Harrison this Saturday night. And let's take a look at what happened the last time we were in Harrison, the whole reason why these four guys are even going to be in this match. And I believe we also have words from Stewie Backlund and Chiron. For Wellington... The guy that got dumped and the man. We'll see you Saturday night in West Harrison, Indiana at the Harris Health and Fitness Center. Get your tickets right now. Amanda. Uh, oh. You two are teaming up, and this time it's not for my NWO title, which I've already beat both you two for. No, this time, this Saturday night, it's going to be a tag team matchup about pride to show who's the baddest in the NWF. You two are teaming up against me, the baddest superstar in the NWF, and my partner, the master, the monster, the beast, Chiron. Stamp Linkage, last time we were in Harrison, you escaped the cage, but you did not. You did not beat me. You got saved. I had you bloody and beaten. Jay Donaldson came down and saved you. Well, in seven days on the 29th, I get my hands on both of you. Both of you seven days away. Seven days away. That's right, boys. I hope you were listening well because in seven days, we're going to team up and we're going to take on you two punks in West Harrison, Indiana. And I'm going to prove to you that Stewie Blackman is all that matters! Sir, again! 